Right, so uh, welcome to uh, another week where the, it's actually the end of the week. We talk about skilled up life. Let's me, let, me, let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Manoj Chwanavira. I'm the founder and CEO of Skilled Up Life. We are four years old. Um, what is Skilled Up Life? Uh, Skilled Up Life is a two-sided marketplace. On one side, we try to help anyone over 18 years old to gain the experience and skills they need to uh, improve their career or career prospects. We do not provide jobs. We do not provide education. We provide an opportunity for you to practice what you might know, but never got a chance to practice. Or you might want to, um, you know, you, you may have been stuck in a job you're not happy with, you want to move into somewhere else, uh, but it's a bit of a gamble because you might not be expert in the area you want to go in. You could come to us, get the experience, and then do a career transition. Uh, it might be, you know, whatever the experience you gain might lead you to get a promotion, uh, change the sector. There are many reasons why people volunteer through us. Now, all these volunteer opportunities are provided by the tech companies on the other side. They are early stage tech companies. Sometimes they are not even companies. They are at that very early stage. Somebody got an idea, but want to validate that idea and they can come to us and assemble a concept validation team that will include market researchers uh, and various type of folks, um, which you know gives you a chance to, at a very low cost, to test your idea out before you commit yourself or commit other people's money into a, a crazy idea that you might have. So you could basically, uh, through us, you could start de-risking once you, for example, once you validate the concept, you can go in to build a product using uh, uh, various skills uh, our volunteers have. So that's what Skilled Up Life is. Uh, as I mentioned, we are four years old. Um, we ourselves went live with a three-day WordPress hack uh, which I built myself, did all, everything myself at the beginning. Um, and for me, uh, I have been in building tech companies for 20 years, and this is the first time that I I can actually say that I'm able to do everything that a tech startup uh, involves. So I build the product, I went to market, I acquire users, I acquire customers. Um, and then what we started doing is we started using our own talent, volunteers, to build our own company. And what we are proving to the world is that you could actually build a company with volunteers. Now, as you grow, you can start to create jobs. Uh, we have created jobs as well as a result. So without further ado, let's get the introduction underway. So let me introduce my team first, and then we'll go on to introduce the others on the panel. So Brenda, do you wanna introduce yourself, please? Hi, Brenda. Right, you need to unmute Brenda. Hello, okay. yes. Uh, my name is Brenda Oziru, a customer service and logistics professional, and uh, I'm also a volunteer with Skilled Up Life in the events team uh, uh, department. Thank you. Okay, so uh, you actually pronounce the brand properly, so you don't have to, uh, <laughs> you don't get penalized. So Brenda, I've, I've gone given Brenda a challenge every time she mispronounce our brand, she her volunteer term extend by one more day. So uh, so this time no, she got it right. Happened. Okay, so we got Festus. Festus, please go ahead. Uh, Festus, are you gonna say a few words? Uh, you need one minute. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Kai. Yeah, please go ahead. Hello? Yeah, we can, can hear you. Me? Please go ahead. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so my name is Festus, uh, the head of Global Sales. I started as a regional team lead, a volunteer for Nigeria. And before I was eventually promoted uh, to head of uh, sales. So I'm happy to be here. Uh, it's a privilege for me to be here with uh, Manoj, you know, uh, talking about uh, how to uh, help tech founders to grow their teams. It has been an uh, exciting uh, week. You know, interestingly, this week, we got someone that signed up uh, from the agri-tech uh, industry. 
uh, talking about Nana Opoku, you know, of uh, Grow For Me. He signed up with us, uh, subscribed to us this uh, week. And interestingly, uh, within 24 hours of signing up, you know, uh, he was able to attract 131 uh, volunteers. You know, this is actually uh, unprecedented, you know, so I'm happy that uh, we are actually making impacts, you know, when it com uh, comes to helping a tech, start -up, a tech startup. So thank you, everyone, and uh, let's enjoy to this uh, conversation. Uh, thank you, Manoj. Thank you. Uh, there's a minor correction needed. It's 24 hours of going live with uh, an opportunity, not yes, signing up. Hours. Yeah, so uh, which was quite unprecedented, as, as uh, Festus said. Uh, Nana might be able to join, I don't know, but he's... Uh, he joined us to build a, a rapid user acquisition team. Um, it's quite a challenge. I don't know whether it's going to work because he want to achieve 3,000 signups within a month. Uh, the challenge is that first he had to learn about how we operate. He has to first acquire the volunteers, bring them in. So um, I think it's, it's going to be tricky, but uh, he seemed to be confident about it. Um, and I know that he's gone on to run a workshop. Uh, he has some method of automating all the applicants coming through. So it's, it sounds interesting. Uh, okay, so next, uh, I want to introduce Neville before I get to Sakale. Uh, Neville, please introduce yourself. Neville, uh, do you want to unmute and introduce yourself? Okay, Neville, uh, there must be an issue with Neville because uh, he's still muted. Uh, Sakle, please go ahead. Sakle is one of our customers. We first met at a Founder Institute event. Uh, please go ahead. Good evening. Good, um, no, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Sakle. I uh, am the founder of Waystam. Uh, at Waystamp, uh, we are building an application that will assist uh, people who have waste uh, 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 realize wealth in that waste. Uh, so we're creating the system that will continuously enable people to um, harvest uh, benefits associated um, with the waste that they uh, uh, produce on a daily basis. So um, it's quite um, a, a, a challenge. Uh, uh, we are changing sort of like uh, the models that uh, have traditionally been applied in that sector so we are quite excited about it. Um, um, we are definitely uh, with Skilled Up Life. Uh, from time to time, we do tap in to look for resources uh, for what we need. Uh, at the moment, um, we have got a very good team that is uh, working together, uh, and we are going to be looking for more, uh, more skills going forward. Um, the one thing that uh, I always emphasize is that uh, we appreciate uh, the sacrifice that volunteers would give us um, uh, where in the first three months, uh, we are not looking um, for any paid work, so to speak, but we just want to grow skills. And then on the other hand, the startup also, which is ourselves, we get to progress our, our project um, without uh, outlaying uh, capital, which is quite um, uh, scarce at the moment. But the commitment that we have is we do look to really create opportunities for the people that um, come through our volunteer stream. And then when um, in the next few months uh, we go live, then those are the people that we are hoping um, we are going to um, tap into in terms of looking for permanent uh, um, positions. So when you join uh, Waste Dump, you get to acclimatize to the conditions and the culture that we want to create. And then that is a stepping stone then for permanent uh, um, um, arrangements if it is mutually beneficial to the, the volunteer and the company. So uh, the prospects are quite great. And um, um, I noticed uh, that uh, Helen is struggling uh, to sign on. I uh, invited one of our volunteers just to talk about their own experience um, at Waste Dump, um, but I noticed she is struggling to to sign up. So we'll see how that goes. Thank you, Manaj. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. 
So, um, uh, Nevil, I don't know whether you are able to speak. Please go ahead. Yes. Hi, good evening, everyone. Nevil here. Hi, Manoj. Hi, everyone. Uh, so, I'm Nevil Rodrix. Essentially, I'm a personal development mentor and I deal with a lot of training uh, programs for the corporates and college students and stuff. So, Skilled Up Life looks like a solid opportunity, but India is unique in its own challenges. So, right now, I'm exploring on becoming the country leader for India. So, here I am. Cheers. Good evening. Uh, yeah, thank you, Neville. Yeah, I think, I think uh, you know, we discussed this last week as well. Um, wh where there are challenges, there's always opportunities, right? So, we just need to tailor, you know, we need to understand the market um, and, and worked out how best to approach it. Now, I know uh, with respect to India, um, you know, it might be, it might not be possible for us to attract um, developers as volunteers, but there may be other areas like perhaps HR, uh, marketing, uh, even sales that may be conducive to what we offer. So I think that's gonna be quite interesting to look at it that way. Um, I'm, I'm wondering whether Abidemi might be joining us. So one of the other things we are trying to do is that we, are, we also within Skill Up Life, we create um, opportunities for individuals to progress further, not just by getting some experience through us, but you could join as a, a junior you could then lead to, let's say, you could have a, a second term where um, you could manage a small team, a team of up to five individuals in whatever the area that you specialize in. Uh, and then you can even go into leading a, a much larger group uh, or larger team or multi-teams. For example, you know, I think uh, Falni is here. I think Falni uh, joined as a... Um, I can't remember which part of HR. Um, I think um, HR admin, I believe, then she became a, a team leader and she's now earmarked to be the head of HR when uh, our current uh, head of HR, Ojuolape, leaves. And Ojuolape herself progressed through that way with us. Um, so, so we are creating those opportunities. Uh, we are also creating at a much uh, you know, even bigger roles. If if we talk about it, if you if you talk about Festus, Festus joined to manage part of Nigeria. Now he's our head of sales. Uh, we are talking to uh, Abidemi, who joined us as uh, uh, basically she joined us and immediately got pushed to become the the country leader for Nigeria. And now now I'm talking to her about her next role with us, which would be head of Africa and to basically go and uh, replicate the success we have in Nigeria in few other countries in Africa, but also to, um, so if you look at Africa, for example, we are very, uh, our uh, most traction come from, on the volunteer side come from um, Nigeria. We are strong in Ghana, Kenya, South Africa, but when it comes to customer side, we are not so great in Africa. Um, so. So we, uh, what Festus has done is uh, we have started to build a sales team. Um, we are, we uh, recently done a um, recruitment workshop, uh, which is a, a new approach for us. Every year we learn and we do something slightly different. So we ran two recruitment workshops th uh, last month, one for sales, one for support. And as a result, instead of doing one-to-one -one interviews, uh, we have we are taking you know three four individuals in one go, um, so we have some new blood in uh, skill up life on the sales front, and I can see some of them are really hungry. They want to go and get get some cut new customers for us, and we are look, looking to do the same going forward on partnership side because um, we want to uh, build great partnerships all across the world. Uh, and I, and I, as we grow, um, one point we peaked at 103 people and we were not ready to manage that number of people. So we are now around 40 and um, I think our optimum number right now is about 65. Even managing that number of people require, um, you know, great thought um, 
And I think uh, one of the problems we had is that our own product was not um, yet, it hasn't iterated. So we just started building version two. Once we got that, one, one of the things we plan to do is to build a lot of tools to help us um, manage our team, recruit faster, et cetera. And we are not gonna just do it for ourselves. Then we're gonna, uh, we, are, we, are, we, are our, we are our own best customer. So we will then start launching those tools into making them accessible to our customers so that they can become a lot more efficient in how they manage, um, how they bring volunteers, how they manage them. Um, and, and in the process, they can become super smart as well. Uh, we have customers who are much smarter than ourselves. For example, we have a, a really loyal customer, uh, the VR Superstore from USA. Uh, Dimitri, their founder, has, uh, you know, sh we, we talk quite often and he shares some of the stats and his stats are much better than ours. Um, and, and they've done a lot, of, lot, lot on their side to uh, al almost mitigate the lack of uh, technical innovation at our end. Hopefully we can catch up and and overtake others uh, as we start building version two. So that's that's a little bit about us and some introduction. So uh, oh, Abidemi is here. Abidemi, do you wanna do a quick introduction before we open to the panel uh, uh, attendees? Please go ahead. Hi everyone. Okay, just a quick introduction before I share with everyone what I have. So my name is Abidemi, and um, I like to say I'm firstly a wife and then a mother, and I'm a sales professional in a big company in Nigeria. Um, under me, I have three sales units that I lead, and here at Skilled Up Life, I volunteer as a country leader, promoting Skilled Up Life business in the Nigeria tech ecosystem with the support of my great team. So I welcome you all to this event today. I'll, um, I'll just pause here until I have another time to tell us what I have in place for us. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Abidemi. So, um, um, okay, so we are open to anyone in the audience who might want to join us. And when you join, please introduce yourself and tell us what you have in mind and we can have a discussion. So today's event is very much about building tech companies. But um, if you if you want to volunteer, we can, we can entertain you as well. Uh, so typically we run two sessions, one on Monday, which um, Chidima uh, attends. Uh, sorry, Chidima host. Chidima is our head of uh, support. Uh, she is also from Nigeria. In Nigeria, we are having some um, unrest at the moment. So I think it's impacting on some of our teammates. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm assuming that's why she might not be here. Typically, she joined our session as well. So if anyone in the audience want to raise your hand and join, we can have a quick chat. Uh, please do, uh, because this is only useful uh, when you um, join in and chat. George, um, I can see you in the audience. We have been talking a couple of times before. Uh, I don't know whether you firmed up in terms of uh, what you want to do. If you if you know the if you want to have a discussion, please raise your hand and we can have a chat. Uh, one of the other things we want to do is that um, emphasize on skilled up life is not just for the young. Um, we have three demographies. We have the youngsters who are in, let's say, 18 plus or in higher education, um, and they can come and gain the first set of experiences through us. Uh, then if you are in 30s and 40s, you're looking for career transition. Maybe you are in oil and gas or banking, want to go to tech or some other field, and uh, you can come and get experience. And the third type is sort of people of my age uh, who are, are looking to give back um, you know, they got time, they, they're not um, hopefully uh, too worried about finance, uh, but come and give time and in the process help a young startup. And obviously they get something something in return. Maybe, maybe it's just a satisfaction of helping somebody or it might be that, you know, they could progress into maybe even having a role with that startup later on. So, so there's a lot of different ways you could benefit from Skill Up Life. Um, so please, if you want to join, please raise your hand. Uh, then I can let you in and we can have a chat. Don't be shy. Uh, okay, so in terms of, um, I'll talk about what, what, we, what we are trying to do, actually. 
in essence, uh, we are trying to build a brand. We are trying to build a global brand with no money at our end, right? Uh, which is crazy. Um, and it's very hard to build a global brand because, uh, you know, the world is, you know, there, there's about 200 plus countries. Uh, we currently have talent coming from 136 countries. In terms of our customer base, probably they come from mainly, I don't know, 25 countries or so. Uh, but majority of them come from UK and USA. So, you know, we, we can't truly say from customer side we are global because, you know, we, we are definitely international. But when it comes to talent, uh, we are global. However, uh, we, have a, we have significant concentration in Africa, uh, again in uh, Indonesia and the places like that. But it's, you know, on some countries we, we have very, very small number of individuals. So in terms of looking at saying, okay, how do you put together a foundation to go after the world? And given that our talent typically volunteers join us for three months, so every three months or so, you know, we have all the time we have rotations, right? People come in, people leave, we have to find successes. So it's more trickier than running a, a company with employees. But on the other side, we have access to unlimited talent. So we can actually design the organization uh, and provided that we can manage it, there's no limit to how many people can have. We can even have a thousand people if we can manage them. Uh, we have a lot of people wanting to get in touch, wanting to volunteer, not just for our customers, but also for us. Uh, hi, um, Balogan, please, please introduce yourself and let us know what you think. Okay, hi everyone. My, uh, my name is Balogan Jeremiah and I'm a product designer in Nigeria. So um, basically, yeah, uh, so I'm grateful for, for this platform because um, I, am, I, I am actually a person who loves to grow, who loves development. And looking at, uh, looking at um, this, um, how I say it, uh, uh, what we're actually doing here, um, looking at tech startup with uh, volunteers, I am quite interested and intrigued about, about the, old, the old situation and all. So um, basically, I, I just want to just um, know how, because um, actually I, I just I just joined this uh, program. I just want, just want to know how, how I can actually be part of this and all, basically. Okay, so um, if you don't know about us, you had to go to skilledup.life, uh, sign up as a, uh, I presume you want to be a volunteer. Uh, you need to, when you sign up, make sure you select the volunteer tab, not the company tab. And then you have to go and create your profile. So as I said, no pain, no gain. Uh, our tech sucks. So you had to go and do everything yourself. Uh, so you had to first build your profile. Then you need to build the resume part, which includes your past work experience and, uh, and education. So once you do that, you can go and apply for... Um, current opportunity, which are provided by early stage tech companies, including um, ourselves. I noticed that you have been through Utiva. So Utiva is one of our great partners. Um, what exactly do you want to do? Okay, I want to volunteer to, um, to the program. I want to just um, reach out to people and just um, I'll make sure a lot of things are actually going on in their development. Uh, basically that's it for me okay so you need to be a bit more specific so when you say development products uh what is it that do you want to be a developer do you want to be a designer what what is it that you want to be okay yeah i i'll be a div um, designer i mean okay so is a ui ux type i'll be a designer so oh, okay i'll be my skills no no what i'm asking you is are you a, like a user yeah, interface so designer yeah, I'm a designer. Yeah, I'm okay, a designer. all right. Yes. So, so please, yeah, please sign you. up. We are currently trying to build uh, for ourselves. We are trying to build our version two. So we are looking for a great UI designers. Um, when you when you build your profile, make sure if you have a Dribble or, or Behance account, you put the link to it because uh, people want to go and see what you are capable of or what you have done. Even I mean, if if you are in the audience and if you have never worked for before work for anyone before and you probably consider as not having any experience all of us have some sort of experience if you are a designer there's nothing to stop you designing something and uploading to Behance or somewhere like that 
and create a profile even though it's not for a customer people want to see what you are capable of um, so we can create the opportunity but they also you know got to make sure that the company get get a benefit because this has to be a benefit for both parties it's not we are not providing training grounds we are not you know this is real this is about on one side building companies so you have to contribute and in return you have to get value yourself which is you know you get experience demonstrable experience and skills and then you have to go take that outside and monetize that by getting a job getting a promotion or whatever that you may want to do so uh, anyone else in the audience uh, want to uh, chat please raise your hand i can't see any um, tech companies other than uh, sakle um but uh, um Festus, is there anyone in the audience that uh, you invited that Right. No, yeah. Okay. No. Okay. Okay. So um, I don't know whether anyone in the in the panel want to have a discussion. By all means, uh, you can. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Manoj. Okay. Hi. So um, I just wanted to stress on why I introduced myself, uh, mentioning that I'm a wife, a mother, what I do, and then what I volunteer in. So quite a number of people might be thinking that you are able to volunteer just because you have enough time, you know, with you, you don't have a lot of things doing, or um, you're just um, young, you know, no, no much um, experience on hold. So I just needed to just say that, so not to let them know that you could, you could have a busy schedule, right? You could be busy, and at the same time, you volunteer. You know, there must be a reason why you want to volunteer, just like my note mentioned earlier. Maybe you want to learn a new skills or you just want to transition and you want to find a, a, a soft landing, you know, into transitioning and hope. It's so good for you to volunteer. So it's, it's just a wake up call to every young woman out there and then um, young men out there. You don't have to have all the time in a particular day before you're able to volunteer. Right. So long as you are doing what is expected of you and then you're gaining um, you're achieving something, you know, tangible to, to meeting up with your goals, then, you know, you can do this. And also, um, to share with tech startups, I, I was going to talk about um, volunteer, leveraging skilled apply volunteers to spur tech startups. And it is important that the tech startup founders that we have here understand the essence of skilled up life and uh, its volunteers. You know, um, if you leverage on the volunteers of Skilled Up Life or the talent pillars of Skilled Up Life, you're not going to break any bank to, you know, to get your business running. Right. These volunteers are able to enhance the capability of your work. They're able to accelerate the product um, development and innovation. And also you're able to, um, you know, get an opportunity to get diverse expertise to work in the tech um, startups. So it is very important that um, Skilled Up Life is one platform that has made this easy for tech founders because we understand what um, tech founders um, undergoes when they are just starting starting up their tech businesses, right? One of it is funding. You know, there's little or no funding at all. And when the funding comes, it's not enough to go around, you know, to touch every aspect of the business. And you find out that you're not able to hire the, hire, um, the top talent that you need to, um, to run your business, right? So you leveraging on Skilled Up Life gives you access to top talent with great expertise, with great experiences, and they're bringing this, um, their skills together to help you run your, your business, your tech business, and you know, to growth, to success. So I just want to encourage tech founders that are here. Um, you may not hear everything you want to hear now, right? But that's why we have um, expertise like Festos here, like myself, the country leader, and um, Manoj, the CEO, and every other colleague of ours that are here. Also, you could reach out to us. You know, there can be a, a, a meeting set up to give you more, to, to explain to you further what um, Skilled Up Life is all about, how you can leverage this talent and then get your um your tech business running so this is just 
an encouragement to tech founders that are here. Um, thank you very much. Just a few things I want to share with everyone. Thank you. Um, th thank you so much, uh, Abidemi. So, I mean, if you if you have aspiration, I mean, I think, you know, if you look around now, right, you know someone's building... Manoj, are you able to speak? Oh, hang on. Um, can you hear me now? Uh, hi, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, you can hear me. Sorry. The, uh, yeah, the LinkedIn changed my audio settings again. Right. So, so I think what... Um, what you know, just expanding from what Abidemi was saying, uh, most of us know or come across a tech company. Sometimes we might not realize it. You know, we are on social media, so social media. These are all technology companies behind them, right? So we we, we come across them, we get aspired, and we you know sometimes want to say you know could we build something similar ourselves? But you might not have a clue of how to go about it. So if that's, if that's you, you have two approaches. One is that you could, you could subscribe as a company and build a concept validation team to take whatever the idea you have forward. Uh, it might be that you know, once you have a validation team in place, it might, you know, they might prove that actually your idea is not worth spending time on. Or the other way to approach this is by actually joining as a volunteer so, you know, you might have an idea, but you might not know how to, how to turn that into a business. So what you could do is that, you know, when, you, when, you're building a, uh, when you build a tech company, there are so many areas that you need to have some idea about. If you don't know, then you have to go and find the people that knows about those areas. So one is that, you know, we're talking about products, so you, you've got to be able to build a product. You've got to be able to market that product and tell the world that you exist and your product exists. You've got to go and sell it. You've got to support them. You've got to do the accounts. Uh, make sure that the books balances, even if you have an accountant. So what you can do now is that perhaps for the first time uh, in our development, you can actually acquire all those skills by becoming a volunteer on Skilled Up Life. Now, you can't acquire them all in one go, so you've got to be strategic about this, and you've got to look at saying, okay, I'm going to spend, and you might have a day job at the time of making this decision. So let's say that you work it out, and actually my weakest area is that I don't know anything about sales. So you could perhaps join a tech startup here and try to get involved with sales and help them, and in the process learn about how to sell. What does a sales pipeline look like? What are those stages? How do you move from, let's say, uh, finding a prospect to qualify them? How do you, how do you, once you qualify, how do you nurture them? You know, how do you run a demo? So you could learn those things. Or, or you might think about saying, okay, I actually, I haven't got an idea about product. You know, how do we build a product? You know, how, what sort of technologies there are? Now, obviously, tech startups are looking for people who has an idea, but there are still opportunities. Maybe you, you join through, through, you know, you join as a support person. Uh, while you're supporting, you learn about the, uh, the product, you learn about the company, you get an idea about some of the problems that companies have, how they resolve them. So you, you could, let's say that you want to build a startup in a year's time, you could, you could do, you know, three, four months, you know, four volunteer terms through us and get substantial experience before you, um, you know, go into actually uh, turn this idea you have into a company. So you can de-risk, you can use us to de-risk whatever that you want to do. So there are many, many different ways that you could use Skill Up Life. It's not just to get a better job. Right, uh, anyone else want to talk? Uh, please raise your hand, I can let you in. We've got 25 minutes left. Uh, in the meantime, anyone in the panel, uh, do you want to have a discussion? Please go ahead. Uh, uh, sorry to jump in so quickly. Um, I just uh, uh, please uh, want to just ask uh, Balogun. Uh, I did not really understand exactly uh, uh, the pro the design skills that he was talking about. If he could just be more specific and just say what skills uh, he is he is looking to to exact on this program. Okay, um, yeah, so I am a UI, UI designer. So I basically make uh, designs for products, basically for 
um, mobile designs and web de designs. So I make um, designs for pr probably any any products that actually do it, um, or any company that just wants to just make a, a design. So I would actually be volunteering to to um, to lecture or to teach on how you can actually um, make your product look um, uh, your product look so so um, aesthetically beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now that is much better. Um, May I ask that you complete your profile and then you can send me directly a message uh, and then we'll take you straight away. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, sometimes our ah. customers like Sakle are too quick, <laughs> which is good. Uh, we've got Princeton as well. Princeton, do you want to talk, uh, give a quick introduction, please? Uh, before before Princeton do it, I think Balogun, this is just a, a quick critique of uh, what you said so far. I think it's important that uh, all of us learn to explain what we want very, very quickly and concisely. And it took us a little while to understand what is it that you are looking for. Um, and I think, uh, you know, these are again, things that you could learn and improve uh, while you volunteer as well. I mean, obviously you are working, so you've got work experience. Um, Princeton, please go ahead. Um, I am um, um, uh, Princeton, we can barely hear you. Okay. You need to shout, like me. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, I said hi, everyone. Um, hope everyone is doing really great. Um, it's a new month, so happy new month. Um, I just, you know, popped in because I had to be here. Um, I had a meeting I was in, but I didn't want to miss the Friday, so I'm really, really grateful to, to be here. Um, so I'll just talk a bit, a light bit about myself and then some of, you know, some of the things I've really, really gotten to know and achieve whilst being a at um, SUL. So, uh, first of all, my name is Princeton. I'm a digital marketing expert and also a digital PR expert. Um, so, I have skills in different areas of digital marketing, as well as you know PR, communications, you know, doing strategy, doing content, and stuff like that. So, I joined um, Spirit of Five when I last, I think, in December. I, you know, I was going through some of my LinkedIn and then, you know, I saw, I've seen Skill of Life before, but I've not really got time to, you know, just go through the website and, you know, the company and LinkedIn as well. So when I bumped it in, I said, let me just check it because I was, I was, I just came fresh off my uh, master's. So I was really like just looking forward to, you know, brushing up my skills. And then when I came to, um, skilled up life, I was hired as an event manager, event volunteer management. And um, I really didn't know anything about event management. So um, already I know different skills of digital marketing. Um, I can do content, but at the same time, I've not really explored event management as you know, a very, very key aspect of you know, the general marketing of the brand and social media. So, um, but this two months or two and a half months I've been in Skilled Up Life, I have owned the skills in event management and event marketing just from just two months. It's been really explosive and insightful for me. Um, I've also learned other skills, um, data analysis, um, event analysis and, you know, compilation. I've developed some skills in Google Sheets as well that can help me navigate, you know, reports and updates very easily um different 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 other skills and content analysis as well um when we you know do some events you know we take except ex, um, except from you know the minutes of the meeting and what some of the insightful things and um, that you know that has gained a lot of um, engagement on social media and then you know we have to do some really good content analysis to be able to bring some insights to Manoj because he demands a lot. Let me just say that. 
and then you know so it's really really it's really really challenging and insightful i'm really really grateful for the partner i have brenda she has been explosive i'm not even gonna lie to you she you know works you know at much much faster rate than i can so you know this is just a tip of the iceberg of what you know skill of life can really really give to you um in terms of you know collaboration you know skills and career progression it's really high you know you get to meet people from different places and you know experience the way they solve problems as well so yeah um this is just like you know understanding of you know my experience and you know some of the skills you know um skill of life provide some of the sorry benefits skill of life provide and you know how it's a very very good experience for you to like stay you know and just you know enjoy time working you know for for the specific hours you work to school of life so thank you very much Anuj and yeah I'll give that back to you now. Uh, thank you so much, Princeton. So we got about uh, 18 minutes. So I'm going to do a little bit, bit of an experiment. So I'm going to go through those in the audience. Please don't leave. And I'm going to say what I think, right? And and maybe discuss about opportunities. So we'll start with uh, Stephen Otiano. Sorry mis for mispronouncing. So you got uh, channel sales, business development, uh, B2B to C. Now, if you want to, I mean, I can see you are working for Tata. Um, let's say that you wish to gain experience in B2B uh, software sales or something along those lines. So while doing your job, if you've got two hours to kill every day for 60 volunteer days over the next three months, you could sign up and get an opportunity where you could practice while without compromising on your current job, right? So one of the things that is really hard to do with when you build tech companies is having a great sales team because you know sales obviously you don't know inside out of perhaps tech sales but you could gain that experience while the company also the little tech company benefits and one of the things that i want to prove personally is that uh, skilled up life is a great place to come and build a sales team most tech companies fail because they can't go beyond what i call founder sales we ourselves are a, a, a victim of this, but I'm trying to change it because I can go and sell it because I know my customer well. But when somebody comes who doesn't know my customer well, it is much harder for them to do it. And especially if they're transitioning from, let's say, your environment to my environment. So this is a great opportunity if you want to take that opportunity. I'm going to go to the next person um, now. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to use your middle name, Udoka. You are customer service representative. Very good at resolving issues, enhancing relationships. So you already know customer service. So there's not going to be a life-changing experience we can offer, but I can see you come from Digital Rich Community, which is a great, part, great new partner of ours. So uh, we just ran a, a, a recruitment workshop and we took on quite a number of people into the support team but we want to provide 24-7 coverage. And our customer service is probably different from many others. So we are a, a, a technology company with the two sides. One is volunteers, one is customers, companies. And we, our support team sits uh, using a chat app called Talk. We see everybody on our website. And one of the, uh, there's two things that customer support, or oh, let's say support individuals have to do. They had to detect somebody coming onto the website and try to, without intimidating them, try to convert them to a sign up. Second is that if they're already signed up with a volunteer or customer, they will have queries and you got to support them. So if you lack that type of experience or want to get that type of experience, you could sign up. Now, obviously we have customers like Sackley who might have their own specific support needs. Not everybody does what well, you know. Customer supports the way we do. Sometimes when you go to a, a company web page, it's you you see chatbots. We don't use chatbots. All ours is powered by humans, and we are a human capital company. Uh, and and therefore we wanna we believe that yes, humans make mistakes, but we are able to give respond to the query rather than uh, send a, a standard response. 
So, you know, really our support team is really good at converting. Right, I'm going to go to uh, next person, Comfort. I don't know whether Comfort is from our team. Uh, probably is uh, because I can't see her face. Uh, she's not showing. So I'm assuming this is our Comfort. Or is it? Yes, she's, she's from our team. She, <laughs> okay. she's our... she doesn't mention anything about uh, us. Okay. Uh, maybe she's uh, shy of us. Who knows? Uh, we got Ta uh, again in IT support. So I would say the same thing uh, as I said before. And we got George. I don't know what George wants because George knows about us. Uh, maybe he doesn't want to commit. But if you, you know, maybe one day if you want to commit, you know, you're welcome to come and, and maybe uh, what we are doing with Festus is that we started from in terms of sales. Uh, we started with Nigeria. Now Festus is our head of sales. So we're looking at building sales teams outside Nigeria to look at individual countries. I can see you are from Nigeria. Maybe you don't have experience in Ghana. You could be part of the Ghanaian sales team. We don't mind where you, what you do. But if you want to you know, come and maybe put together a little uh, sales team with up to five people, you know, opportunities are there. It's up to you. You know what we do, so I don't have to keep saying it. Right, we got Stephanie, uh, who's a volunteer research assistant. Uh, don't know much about it. Uh, ah, right, I forced George to join us. Hi, George. While, hi, George. Tell us what you want to do. <laughs> I'm forcing you. <laughs> hi, George, we can't hear you. Oh, looks like you got uh, comms problems. Something. Yeah. Good. Okay. It's good. Uh, you know, I've uh, done some. Uh, I'm afraid you got, we can't hear you. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, please go ahead. Okay. It's not quite working out, George. Uh, we can't hear you. Okay, I'll, I'll go and uh, talk about the audience. Falne is part of our team, as I said at the okay, beginning. So, uh, at least... Okay, George, it's not going to work out. Life. I think it's about... Sorry, George, it's not working out today. Um, okay, so f as I mentioned, Falne, uh, join us. Uh, once promoted, she's now going to be the next off head, head of HR. So I'm not going to talk too much about her. Um, if we go to Emmanuel, uh, I help businesses and organizations identify bottlenecks in workflow processes and recommend solutions that brings about increase and improve productivity. So if you can do that, I don't know whether you want any other, you know, more experience around the same thing. We would love for somebody to join us and solve our mess. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we are co continuously growing, changing. Uh, we've got processes that need improving, automating, a lot of work to do. Right. Uh, who else is uh, Chiamakas in our team? Uh, Okori. Let me take a look at you. Um, season project manager and tech sales specialist. Okay. We talk about sales. If you want to expand what you already know, you can uh, come and join. Uh, us or one of our customers, you say here, digital marketing strategies, data analytics, executive area field sales. So you got some sales. Um, I think you could, if you want, uh, us or one of our customers would be interested in your skill set. Judith, um, again, I'm sorry. Some you know we had about five hundred people go through our doors. So if you were a part of us before, and I can't remember, I'm sorry. Uh, Judith is Natural Resource Management Department of Wildlife. Um, I can't quite say anything about that. Uh, again, um, I'm going to pass. Uh, Divine Sales and Business Analyst. Yeah, it's the same thing. Um, you are from Ghana. So we have a Ghanaian sales team member, New Nuhu. Uh, he's coming from FSM, FMCG background, wanted to break into B2B sales. So if you want to join him, you know, you could apply. Uh, Osuala, virtual assistant. Um, 
one of the things I have executive assistant and uh, Festus now have a virtual assistant. I think all our um, team leaders ought to have an assistant. So if you want to get, get some great experience, you know, that's another opportunity with us and obviously similar exists with our customers. Uh, Philemon, food technology supply chain, writing, talking. Oh, well, yeah, if you can write, uh, there are opportunities. Uh, Helen. Oh, is this Helen from your team, Sakle? Oh, yes. Helen, do you want to come and say hello? You got nine minutes. Please join. Waste, waste dump. Yeah. Please come and say um, what you're doing. You know, love to hear from you. Um, and we got Andrew who just joined. Uh, oh, Andrew's a founder. Baba Games, AI driven esports analytics. Okay, yeah. Uh, if you're building a tech company, we can help. And you have also gone through Found Institute. You are an entrepreneur in residence. Wow, well done. Uh, yeah, we have a good relationship with Found Institute. Uh, quite a number of our customers are, have gone through their programs. So if you're interested in, um, subscribe to us and building, ex, you know, continue to build your team using some of our volunteers. You are welcome. Uh, okay, so I'm getting an update from George because he's connection wasn't very good uh say so he'd love to be part of the ghana sales team okay see i managed to twist his arm so yeah i mean the thing is that uh you had to do a little bit of work because you had to go and build your profile you've got to build it fully uh we are not going to shortcut the process for anyone uh, even though in some cases we really want you in our team you just had to do the work right and and that's to me also shows that you are committed. Um, I know the tech should be great and it should be seamless, but it's not. Um, but one day, hopefully, we'll get there. Right, seven minutes left. Does anyone in the panel want to have a chat? Abidemi, Neville, Festus? I just wanted to say one thing. Uh, yeah, sure. Of... Please go ahead. Yeah, it, I do not know whether it's silly or it was supposed to be obvious, but it was not to me. Maybe I was preoccupied with some other thoughts in my mind. But today, two things that caught my mind, you know, caught caught my this attention was, it's it's not important for me. It was always like India, India only. It just struck me that uh, people from outside India can do volunteer work for Indian companies, and uh, people from India can do volunteer work for countries out companies outside india so this is something that was supposed to be obvious but for some reason it didn't catch my imagination yeah i mean it's a good, one thing. yeah i mean it's, it's a good point because uh, what you said exactly true so let's say that you join us we we have been discussing and initially uh, you could build a team very quickly with uh, uh, nigerian talent we got a we got it's, it's actually gone up 38% of our community come from Nigeria and they are hungry, especially those coming from digital, which part we have a partner called digital, which run by an amazing lady. And, uh, and, and they have a, they, their community is, is much more stronger than us. There's, there's lot, and I, I mean, we would love to have a community like that one day, right? Where people are very enthusiastic about the community and and being part of that um so so you could start on day one you know you could go and build a team with nigerians for example or from you know from different country from chinese or whatever you want and yeah they, that, that, that's, that's something yeah that's good yeah because they they would love to gain experience in a different country you know learning about that right so the other thing that caught my my attention today was which actually should have registered or somehow should have been showcased somewhere is that volunteering work is not just for a particular bracket of people, it's for the entire range of employable people, right? It starts from 18, if I'm not mistaken, does it start from 18 or can it go lower? No, no, 18. 18, 18 and above, and then you can have your chunks like 18 to 25, 25 to 40 and 40 above and whatnot. So that's something that really caught me because even housewives here, 
homemakers, retired people, those they, they could keep themselves engaged with something. They look for something to be engaged, whether it's monetary or not, that's secondary, that has to be found out. And then youngsters, youngsters who need experiences. So I was just explaining internshala when we were talking today. And I realized that internshala is all about internships, which are paid internships. Yes. And uh, that's a different mo model. So I think we should leverage the understanding of what is internship and unpaid internship advantages. So uh, this is something that for me today is maybe, you know, lit a few light bulbs here and there. So, yeah, that's yeah. the kind of thing so, that I picked so up. The, Thanks, our problem is that we don't have a word that align 100% with what we are doing. So the closest we have chosen is volunteering because then that reflects the no financial gain element. And, and really that our volunteering is all about, about the motivation. It's about the commitment. It's about the motivation. What do you do? What do you want to get? Right? And it's not about immediate monetization of that. Whereas when you talk about internship, is typically that's a full-time role. That's typically meant for youngsters. And we, are, we don't provide internships. Uh, we provide volunteering where the commitment is two to three hours a day. We don't want anyone yeah, to... I find, yeah, I find your volunteering model more stronger than the internship model. I can't explain as to why I find that stronger, but I, I found that the volunteering model is better for the youngsters and better for the seniors. In, in the middle, I'm, I can't, it's debatable. Uh, the other thing, <laughs> one of the things I made this for long back too, is the website needs to shape up. <laughs> yeah, yes. So you can come and tell me what to change. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, you got UI designers all over the place. But definitely introductions are missing, videos, front end videos are missing. You need okay. your founder speak. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I'm too close to it. So I think somebody could come and tell me what's wrong and then we can uh, implement that. So I think what I'm looking at is when we, you know, we, we are trying to build version two and at that point, currently the website and the product are the same and we'll separate the two you know the website will be just a website a product will be actual real application um so both has to innovate so we'll, we'll get that fixed uh at the moment everything on the website is done by me that's why it's rubbish um now what we touch on is that skilled up life is from 18 until you last breath that's how I see it. So you are you let's say you are retired. Um, you know you can come and spend two two three hours a day, get your brain um, refocused or re-energized, and, and you know that might be really good outcome for people. So we are never meant for a, a you know age group. We are meant for anyone over eighteen. We don't want to go down uh, below eighteen because. You know, then, you know, some countries you are considered a child and there are laws and I don't want to get into any of that. Um, so 18 plus is where our market is, but I'm more interested in um, people who are doing a job and they are not very happy with their job and they want to improve themselves. Um, and they might be a little bit stuck of where they want to go or not go. So I think we, we can be a great place for them. Um, because especially they have some work experience, so they have, you know, one of the big problem with the youngsters is that most of them don't have soft skills. You know, they don't know that if there's a meeting, they've got to come on time. You know, it's no point coming 10 minutes late. Um, you know, they've got to reply to that email. So, for example, if you look at my, my youngsters, they don't consider email as vital. Uh, but if in a business environment, you've got to reply to emails. So there are little things that need fixing. And I think, um, so that's why we're looking at partners who could provide those soft skills rather than ourselves. Okay, we come, somehow we come to the end of the show. Uh, is anyone want to so, uh, say a few things before we, we close for, for the weekend? Just a quick question. Yeah. Do you have anything called Skilled Up Life Academy? Not yet. <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, I've yes, mentioned yes, this in yes. different forms and formats, but today I think I got the word for it. Yeah, so uh, there are 
one thing we have to be very careful is that we do not provide education. Um, so in terms of building tech startups, the, the way, you know, I, you know that I run another organization called TechSurray, which got the know-how of building tech startups. So what I'm trying to do is that we look at maybe offering some a little bit of education, but it would come from TechSurray. So we ha what we want to do is that... The Manoj, last you. Your audio is not coming in. Okay. All right, so I think Manoj... Uh, can you hear me now? Hello? Yes. Okay, all right, sorry. I, I think there, there must be a time lock, you know, like every 30 minutes you get kicked out. Uh, right, so we, we'll, we'll end the show, but uh, but I think, you know, it's great conversation. Um, so I recorded it and we'll share it on uh, Spotify. Uh, hopefully it works because this time I changed how I record it. Uh, thank you so much for taking part. And we'll see you next uh, Friday. Have a great weekend. Yes. If you... Well, you okay, can thank share you, the everyone. Bye. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, President, you want to say something? I said you can share the link or on like on your LinkedIn on you know post or something. Share the link of your Spotify. Spotify. Okay, okay, I'll I'll do that. I'll do that. So. Um, we have a channel on Spotify called Skilled Up Life. Basically, have these recordings and some of the other recordings. And one of the things that Brenda and Princeton are doing is getting us speaker opportunities. Uh, Fester spoke yesterday. There were a significant technical glitches. Uh, I also got an opportunity to speak at an event recently uh, run by a Ghanaian in UK. Um, and I think I got another speaker opportunity next week. So one of the other things that our events team is doing is not just helping us to run this event uh, better, but also getting us speak opportunities, not just for myself, but for all the senior team leaders. Um, so thank you so much for giving one, one hour of your time. Uh, have a great weekend and we'll catch up next week. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Cheers.